What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Fitbit's recent update to its most popular fitness bands like the Charge 4 and the Inspire 2. But let's go ahead and get right into what that's all about. So one thing you guys might not have known is actually Google is recently acquired Fitbit. So it's actually doing a lot of things to help improve the community. And with this latest update, it really lets you know they are all in. The fitness bands that it's gonna be mostly affecting are gonna be the Versa 2, the Charge 4, and the Inspire 2. Some things they are improving upon are the health metrics. So in the app itself. So with said health metrics, when you go into all your stuff, you're going to see that health metrics. You're able to go in there and see what it's all about. So I only did a couple of nights, but you do get your breathing rate, which is very helpful for things like the most recent virus. You guys know what it's all about. Your breathing rate will actually go up a little bit as you do get sick before you see everything else as it is a respiratory illness. Other things you'll be able to see, heart rate variability. This is something that will help you train and help you know where your recovery is. So both these things and resting heart rate are gonna be on and you don't even need the premium Fitbit for this. If you do use premium, you will be seeing a full month of all this so you'll be able to track where everything's going, how things go over a longer period of time, but it's awesome that they just put it right in and you'll be able to use it. Talking about that, they also have brought the SPO2 sensor to three different versions, so you'll have an SPO2 sensor on your wrist, but it's not on the charge for a couple of things said it was, but I did have to actually go through Fitbit's customer service, which was very good, very helpful, but there is nothing currently for the charge for to have it located on there, but for the Versa series, there will be a watch face, so you'll be able to see what your blood oxygen saturation is. This is also a great health metric, so if you're dropping like below 90, you might not be the healthiest, might wanna see a doctor, but of course, these are not medical grade equipment, so you have to take it at, with a grain of salt, but definitely if you do really see it dip and you're not feeling good, it's a great way to be able to tell your doctor something like that. And another couple things, the Fitbit Sense EKG is actually expanded to more countries like the United States, New Zealand, and Canada. So you can get an EKG reading through the Fitbit Sense. One of the things that I'm most excited about this actual update is how much Google is putting behind the Fitbit community. I believe the Charge 4 is one of the best fitness bands you could buy currently with a GPS and the Inspire 2, one of the best ones that's more slim. So they do have very good fitness bands and it's great they're looking to continue to add in a lot of functionality to create a better community and a better product. But also, if you guys would love me to go over what Fitbit Premium is all about, comment down below if you'd like me to do kind of a full review of what that's all about. And if you have any other ideas of what you guys would like me to review, again, comment down below. I am a new YouTuber, so I'd love for you guys to subscribe to this channel if you love this video. Smash that like button. And of course, if you use the links down in my video description, sends you right to Amazon to purchase those particular products. If you do, a little bit of that goes to help me build my channel. But other than that, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one.